YouTube, what's up? It's your host with the most helping wavers from coast to coast. Wave man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Wow, you aren't gonna believe what just happened. So I just recorded this whole video and at the beginning of recording, somebody called me and I didn't know and everything that I recorded was deleted. Well, not even deleted, it's just, it just stopped recording. So now I have to record this whole thing over again. Wow, but that's fine, I don't mind. I'm doing this to help you guys out. I'm going through all this trouble to help you guys out. I'm recording this video twice. I just spent like an hour recording this. And now I got to do it all over again. So the least you can do is go press the like button. And if you think I'm kidding, I'm actually being serious. I actually have to record this twice. The first time it was deleted. Well, not deleted. It was, it just stopped recording because somebody called. Kind of devastating. But anyway, let's get into the video. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your waves more visible. You can say it like that, or you can say how to make my waves pop out. You can say how to make my waves show more. You can call it whatever you want. Now, this method goes hand in hand with how to make your waves deep. I've made a video on how to make your waves deeper before, but I'm gonna explain in this video. Actually, I made a video on this exact topic before, but for some reason, you guys aren't scrolling back to watch my old videos. You keep asking me about this same topic anyway, so I'm just gonna make this video again, because clearly you're not watching my old video. And that's fine, that's fine. I don't mind redoing videos because it gives me more stuff to, um, for a more of an opportunity to elaborate and put new ideas in the same order methods, if that makes sense. So how do you get deeper waves? Because getting deeper waves goes hand in hand with making your waves more visible. Well, first of all, you have to think about it. Let's use an analogy. Let's say you go to the pool, right? And you're in the water that's about three feet deep. You can barely see the water moving, right? It's barely visible at all. But let's say you go to the deeper end at like nine feet and you're in the wave pool. Now you can definitely see the water moving. It's like humongous formations of water. There's no way you're missing those, right? The water's a lot deeper. It gives it more opportunity to be seen. That was probably a bad analogy. Let's use the pool instead. I mean, the beach. When you go to the beach and you like get in like the very shallow end, like where like the sand's right here and the water's right there. The water's like this deep. You barely see the waves. Like the water's just like moving like this. But as you get further into the water and the water starts getting deeper, these waves start getting bigger. That's because there's a lot more to work with. You can only do so much with what you have. The deeper the water is, the deeper the waves can be, the bigger the waves can be. The water's only this deep the waves can only be this big. It's kind of like when you watch those um, TV shows with the boats and they're like fishing for like, what is it, tuna or flounder? Whatever they're fishing for, those big old fish in the middle of like these freezing cold waters. They're on this big old boat and then like this humongous wave of water comes in. It makes sense that the waves would be like gigantic, right? Because the water is that deep. It can support the wave that is presented. I hope that makes sense. So let's think of it in terms of your hair. Let's say your hair is um, this hot, right? My hair, look at this. Right here, right, mm, right now, my hair is only but so long. Come on now, they're making all this noise in the background. Anyway, my hair is only but so long. So my waves can only be but so deep at this moment. But when I start wolfing out my hair, then we have a whole different story. My waves can be a lot deeper because my hair is a lot longer. But making your hair, um, your waves show more is goes a lot more, goes deeper than just getting deep waves. You also need your waves to be nice and maintained. Trust me, the difference between maintained waves and unmaintained waves are like a whole different ballpark. Because if your hair is long and maintained, your waves are gonna look pretty solid. But if your hair is long and unmaintained, your waves are just gonna look like a mini afro or something. Ooh, 
you're gonna look at your hair and be like what is that it's like what is that you need to maintain your waves if you want them to show more because i mean they gotta look like waves to be waves so how can you train your waves to be um well maintained or maybe you should say how can you over train your hair okay so let me just put this analogy down let's say you're training for a race the race just so happens to be two miles long are you going to sit there and train every day running two miles or god forbid you train running one mile and think that's going to help you with the two mile race no because it's it's not enough what you might want to do is run four miles or five miles every single day well if i only need to run two miles why am i training for five miles if you train for five miles when you get to that race it's only two miles this two miles is just going to be a piece of cake it's just going to be easy you can be like oh that's it do more than what you need to do to make it easier for yourself at least that's what i do so how does this relate to weight well if you train your hair to grow at longer lengths like we were talking about earlier in this video see this is all connecting train your hair to um wave at longer lengths then when you finally get that haircut and your hair shorter it's like wow this is so easy this is a piece of cake who knew getting nice waves is so easy yeah, it's pretty easy. As long as you have the right preparation, everything's just gonna fall in place. This process is also called Wolf, and I could have just said that. Um, <laughs> but I'll make a video, I'll probably make a video on how to wolf, and I'll probably make another video on how to maintain your wolf, stuff like that. So if you want these videos, make sure you go first press the like button on this video because you're already watching it like why wouldn't you do that stop being selfish but next up you want to subscribe to my youtube channel because if you're not subscribed you're most likely not going to get notified and speaking of getting notified make sure after you subscribe go hit the notification bell youtube's algorithm is all messed up people that are subscribed to my youtube channel aren't even getting notifications so you that's not subscribed obviously aren't going to get them either so make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell very important turn on all notifications but yeah while you're wolfing because we were just talking about wolfing make sure you're using these important materials number one a hard brush number two a medium brush number three a soft brush number four a plastic bag number five a do-rag so what you want to do get your hard brush preferably from smoothstyles.com and brush your hair brush your hair for about mm, 15 minutes then get your medium brush and brush your hair brush your hair for about 15 to 30 minutes then get your soft brush and brush your hair from 10 minutes to however long you want really however long it takes to lay down your hair most of the way after that plastic bag your hair what that means is put your hand inside of a plastic bag preferably like a um, ziploc bag and rub it on your hair in the same direction that you brush your hair what this does is lays your hair down more than what you could with a brush then put your do-rag on once your do-rag is on you can just wait um, until you're ready to brush your hair the next time but do it in that same order hard brush medium brush soft brush plastic bag do-rag in that order meaning the hard brush would be first the do-rag would be last so let's recap what we said we want to train your hair longer than what you normally would you want to have your hair grown longer longer than you normally would let me just re-say that whole thing you want to grow your hair longer than you normally would this is called wolfing you want to keep your waves maintained and of course you want to do the process that i just said hard brush medium brush soft brush plastic bag do rag of course there's other stuff involved like putting on pomades putting on um uh what's it called um moisturizers how did i forget the moisturizers yeah putting on pomades putting on moisturizers because you don't want your hair to be dry and unmoisturized but yeah that's all i can think of to talk about in this video if you could think about anything else that i missed make sure you go drop that in the comment section below if you think i did a good job on stating every single step wow these people are really doing all this work when i'm trying to do my video anyway if you think oh wait that's somebody's car wow that guy needs a new car but yeah if you can think of anything wow now the trash people are coming it just doesn't get any better if you can think of anything else that i forgot to mention in this video make sure you go comment that down below if you think i did a good job on remembering everything that i needed to talk about in this video go comment good job 
I'm Wave Man Mike. Subscribe, comment, and like. Enjoy your day.